Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one is Bonnie Tyler, the classic Total Eclipse of the Heart, but I wanted to do the isolated vocals because those vocals really are something else and I really wanted to listen to them properly. Turn around Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming around Turn around Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears Turn around Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by Turn around You can really hear here the huskiness of her voice and um, what happened to her is that she did develop nodules early on in her career. She was advised not to speak and she did a lot and in the end it left her with this husky tone. Now nodules are little calluses, they form when our vocal cords are used a lot really. It's when they are used when they're swollen and um, like the rest of our body they form little calluses on them to kind of protect themselves. It's a protective um, effect of the body but obviously for singers this can result in a husky tone and you know actually it can sound kind of cool now I would never never say go and try and get nodules of course that's not something you should be doing because there are um other symptoms of having nodules, vocal fatigue, you might not be able to sing for as long, you might not be able to sing with a clear tone, you might lose your range, there are plenty of bad side effects to nodules that you don't want, but that is what is giving her her husky tone there. Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I get a little bit restless and I dream of something I love wild. this little yodels. Every now and then I get a little bit helpless and I'm lying like a child in your arms. Really listen to how she sings little. She's going underneath the note little. The ooh is um is below the actual note little little and then uses it as a yodel. Every now and then I get a little bit angry and I know I've got that to one get broke a bit, but it's nice. So those little yodels are often used in country music and in country music they are called cry breaks because it's those moments of when you're so emotional that your voice breaks and it gives that effect, it's really kind of cool. Some of them she's even allowing them to break so it sounds extra emotional. Wow. So you can hear that passion in her voice, that huskiness, which does come from vocal damage previously, but we can get that vocal um, distortion if we want to by other means. So we can use things like fry, which is like a wow sort of sound in our voice as we're singing. If you want to learn how to do these distortions, go and look at a vocal teacher with someone with um, a background in CVT methods. Those guys are pretty good. Or um, someone like Melissa Cross as well. She, of course, she's really into her fry distortions. Now hers is not a put on distortion. It's just part of her tone. But what is 
she's doing really well is managing her breath. She's not over pushing, she's using consonants. She's really p popping those consonants in order to give it that bite and crispness and passion, but she's not pushing loads and loads of air through. In fact, I think with her nodules and her nodule surgery, she probably would end up with a really, really breathy tone if she um, pushed too much air through. However, I do think that she's probably putting her vocal cords together quite tightly. Um, and this happens quite a lot with people who have um, nodules or something like it because it becomes more difficult to put your vocal cords together um, because the nodules get in the way. People have to press them more tightly to get a clean tone and to get a heavy tone. And this is what's happening here. It gives you that kind of thicker vocal fold sound, that thicker tone, but um, it can be really, really wearing. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if she managed to sustain this voice for a very long time. And that is the downside of having some sort of damage like this, that, uh, you know, longevity can be lost. However, it can be totally um, fine to manage something like this. Like singers can sing with vocal damage if they are looking after their voice correctly. But she's super relaxed here. There's nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Once upon a time there was light in my life But now there's only love in the dark Nothing I can say A total eclipse of the heart So low as well Heart in the eclipse of the heart Actually it's not as, as, as low as I thought it was It's just warm She got that beefy tone <laughs> Okay, before we go back in fun fact, her real name isn't Bonnie Tyler. What is it? It is Gaynor. Who would have thought? Gaynor Hopkins. And she's Welsh, not American. Everyone often thinks she's American because um, the style of music I often associate with like big American stadium rock bands, but no, she's Welsh. The Welsh can sing. The Welsh is singers. <laughs> Turn around Every now and then I know you'll never be the boy you always wanted to be Turn around But every now and then I know you'll always be the only boy who wanted me the way that I am Turn around Every now and then I know there's no one in the universe as magical and wondrous as you Turn around Every now and then I know there's nothing any better There's nothing that I just wouldn't do Turn around <laughs> wow. And I need you love tonight. You can hear the pop on the mic. Now, this is something that often people, when they're singing live or singing recorded, you'll try and guard by making it more of a b position than a p so that you don't pop out loads of air. But actually, here she's wanting to give that power, that um, bite to everything. All the air builds up behind each consonant. Now she has lovely open vowels. And what I mean by that is that she keeps her mouth really open. So if it was heart, it wouldn't be heart. Closing onto the earth, she'd keep it ah uh, as open as possible. This allows the sound to resonate um, for as long as possible um, before kind of closing off your resonant chamber. She also has... Um, that distortion you can hear when it's coming from just a little bit she's like dialing up that breath just ever so slightly now for most people probably nothing would happen if you did that because it's only a small amount but um because of that damage it is making something happening probably at the vocal cord level it's probably it's making the 
even vibrations from the vocal cords because she has got those even vibrations at certain points into irregular vibrations. So if she has certain material that is damaged and maybe a bit of scarring, that can be the cause of that irregular vibration. Maybe it is the nodule itself, although I think she's had them removed. So it could be the shape of her vocal cords are slightly irregular. It's so interesting because I can really hear the damage in her voice. So part of me is like, oh, the emotion of that moment. And then part of me is like, oh no, it's the poor voice. And it's really hard to switch off the vocal coach side of my brain, which is being like, oh no, it's not coming from a nice thing. It's not going to be very, um, it might be ouch. Um, although I don't think it probably is painful in that moment, but that is something to be really aware of. If your voice hurts after you sing, there's probably something that you want to adapt. Your voice shouldn't hurt. Um, you should be able to sing without that. And it's often to do with how much breath that you are using, if you are, or how much muscle you're using, actually. Sometimes we can squeeze our neck, and also sometimes we can squeeze the breath out, but everything with singing, once it feels easy, then you've got it right. And we often feel like the more effort we put in, the better it's gonna sound. And actually, although she's doing it very, very cleverly, she's she's got those little effortful moments, but generally, she's keeping it. Um, in a really um, relaxed, open place. And then suddenly when you, we get those little moments of distortion and push, they really, really mean something. And that protects her voice because she's not doing that too much. Th those kind of pushed moments are really, really harsh on the voice, but she's only doing them in small amounts. Time I was falling in love, like this. But now I'm only falling apart. Perfect placement. Nothing I can do, a total eclipse of the heart. Once upon a time there was light in my life, but now there's only love in the dark. She's extraordinary, isn't Nothing she? Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. A total It's weird hearing BBs by themselves. <laughs> He's great though as well. An extraordinary singer. And it's amazing when you see someone who has had vocal damage really use that to make something that is hard hitting and emotional. She's using her limitations to make us feel something really intense. And she's found a way to work with her voice, even though perhaps she probably fatigues easier than she would do otherwise. She's found a way to work with those limitations and I think that that's a sign of a really, really great singer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.